Let's talk about the first round, though. Because we got to talk about the fact that there were some trade offers here, guys. Before we even get into, into Neighbors, which, spoiler alert, we drafted Bleak Neighbors, but <laughs> <laughs> before we haven't heard. Let's talk about the next segment here. Let's talk about the first round trade down options here we had. Because there definitely were a few options. So, you know, first up, you got Joe Shane on the phone with the Colts. The Colts offered him 15, 46, and next year's second round pick. And he was pretty much had no interest in that whatsoever, said it was too far. Now, by all accounts, everything you heard earlier, the backup plan, if you couldn't get neighbors, was a Dunze or Brock Bowers. He wasn't wrong in that case that both those guys would have been gone by fourteen by fifteen, sorry, assuming everything else worked as it was in the draft, you know. But I thought it'd be fun to look at what would have been if we had made that trade. What could have happened? Let's 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 go back into the multiverse here <laughs> and see what would have happened. Um if we have gotten number fifteen here, you got some options, guys. The two options I looked at that I thought were the most obvious options were Quinion Mitchell, which is obviously the, the two, I think we had him number one on our board as far as corners overall, if I remember correctly or up. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I believe so. Um, you also had, if you wanted to stick a wide receiver, you had Bleak Neighbors' teammate, Brian Thomas Jr. from LSU available. So there were still options available that were really good players. I would have taken Mitchell in that scenario personally. 100%. Which would have been crazy because you're just shoring up the defense and you're still ignoring the offense. I get it. But I think I think Quinny Mitchell is going to be a special talent. And I hate to say that because he's an eagle. That's who got him. But he's going to he's going to be a special talent this league, I think. Now, at the second spot, okay, we would have kept – we would have had Tyler Newbin still at, um, you know, because we have 46 and 47 now. In that scenario, we would have kept Tyler Newbin as one. The other spot could have been Jonathan Brooks, the running back out of Texas. Could have been Trey Benson from Florida State. Could have been a, a Donye Mitchell of Texas, the wide receiver. Uh, Malachi Corley of West uh, Western Kentucky. Uh, ben Sinat of Kansas State. I mean, you definitely had your options. But, you know, the options definitely aren't bleak neighbors. Yeah, and that's part so, of. It. I mean, you know, they could have all taken a corner. Maybe they'd taken Mike uh, Sandstrom of uh, Michigan, or Ennis Rake, uh, Rakestraw of Missouri. But either one of them to be and not to be a negative guy, but either one of them are better than Drew Phillips, who we got later on the third. We wanted to get a corner in the second. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. So, yeah, I, they, I, they also I, pretty much made it clear. It's like if they couldn't get a quarterback, they want it. Yep, they're going to get their receiver. They want it. Yeah, and I don't think they made the wrong move personally. No, I I really unless I, one of these teams sold the farm. Yeah, that would have been different. I I but, think that I I think that for what they got offered, they're better off staying at six. I agree. You got a potential generational talent in Malik Neighbors. That's how highly I think of them. I want to put words in your mouth, Rob, but that's how highly I think of him. Like, this has got some real potential here. Yeah. And we talked about, you know, personalities and the, if they can make it in New York. Like, just look what neighbors have done, <clears throat> what he has done, like, since he became a giant. Like, he's made some jokes. Yes, he's made some mistakes of saying this before the draft, but, like, he's been kind of, like, low-key, like, chill. This whole time, but like, make it rain. <laughs> if you're not in New York going to the Sapphire Club at 20 years old, then you know, shame on you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's got that, he's got that chill, he's got that swagger. Yeah, that, that joke, bro. We talked about it before. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't, but he's, he's got it. that. I mean, we'll talk about him a little bit more, but like, yeah. He's got that personality that can make him. Like, yeah, he he's not so much high but, strong. He's like he kind of let, lets things float off him. So he's like, so get this guy that's generation talent that you can just take a lot of pressure. 
So are we in agreement then that you wouldn't have made the trade? I wouldn't have made the trade. Yeah. Joshi made the right move. 100%. Okay. Now, there was two other offers, I should say as well, for that same pick. So Jets, they, rele- they released during hard knocks. The Jets made an offer. They didn't let us know what the Jets' offers were at that point. Now, the Jets were the interesting one because they had two uh, number one draft picks here. So, you know, two first round draft picks there um well, i thought they did didn't they no they didn't i'm looking it up now to look up their draft picks who they were no so they had number 11 was their first one you so we still would have lost out we would got brock bowers maybe Christ. i wouldn't have been happy with that no yeah like i said we made the right move guys 100 we made the right like, move. Grant, like we thought pennix jr may have been at the 11 spot and if that's the yeah. case we got him then we, we probably felt like we made the right move, but like no one saw Atlanta do what they did. So, but you know crazy? they didn't get it. They don't have a second round pick, even the Jets. What would we have gotten? I, for some reason, I was thinking they had two first round picks. They had pick 11, then they got pick 65, 134. Like, what were the Giants going to get in that trade? Like, they would have had to give up like a first rounder next year for the, us to even consider that. I mean, like, it's the Jets. They could have. <laughs> Who knows? I um, mean, that's going to if they made what kind of moves they made. Yeah. Moves like Jack. draft. Because <laughs> their quarterback is the same age as Mick Jagger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there was a third team as well, guys. Uh, I do not know who the third team was. I've heard from multiple media members that they said the same thing, that there is a third team out there that made an offer. We don't know what. So, Hard to judge on that one there. So by all accounts, from what we know, of the two of the three teams that made an offer in for pick number six, Shane made the right call. Get the potentially generational talent. Hope you make a hit. And you have a really good player on a cheap deal the next five years. So, If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm I'm begging you. Please, please subscribe.